Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, well. It's good to uh, to be back here. Um, so um, I'm uh, Ronan Lamy. Uh, I'll be um, talking about um, HPy, uh, which um, we hope uh, is a better C API uh, for Python. So uh, first, a um, bit of uh, introduction. Um, I'm now um, working uh, at uh, Iterative, uh, building tools for um, data science projects. Uh, but um, more uh, relevantly for this talk, uh, I've been a co-developer of uh, PyPy for a long time. Uh, and um, in 2019, with um, some uh, other uh, PyPy uh, developers, we started this uh, HPy project. Um, and first, um, I want to give you an idea of why uh, we thought um, we needed um, something like HPy. So, um, um, as you all know, um, C extensions are really um, critical to the uh, Python uh, ecosystem. Um, all the um, uh, wonderful growth uh, we've seen in the past uh, a few years, especially in the area of data science, machine learning, um, comes from um, libraries like um, uh, NumPy, Pandas, um, Scikit-learn, um, PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, and, uh, and many others. Um, and um, all these um, libraries have uh, in common that they um, exposed to the Python programmer um, with uh, an easy uh, interface, an easy Pythonic interface, something that's um, very powerful, that's written um, in uh, a compiled language, um, so uh, usually uh, C or C++, um, but you can uh, nowadays also use, um, uh, I don't know, Rust, um, can still use Fortran, um, um, and um, all of that um, is possible uh, thanks to uh, the, um, the C API of Python. So um, you can, um, from um, C code, uh, directly interface with the um, Python interpreter, and um, that's how um, we have all these uh, nice libraries. So, um, so far, um, so good. But um, there is, um, I guess, if there is one uh, drawback uh, of Python we uh, always hear about and we uh, experience, it's speed. Um, and um, there's, um, quite um, a lot of um, attention being paid to um, performance um, nowadays. Um, so, um, um, amongst the ways of uh, speeding up Python, um, you have um, um, so people uh, like myself uh, who um, uh, built um, full uh, re-implementations of all of Python uh, based on um, different principles uh, compared to um, C Python. Um, and you also have um, uh, um, people who've been uh, basically forking C Python and try to, um, um, to uh, change it to be um, more, uh, more performant. And um, also, um, you know, over um, the past um, couple years, uh, the um, core developers of uh, CPython have um, decided to put um, a lot of effort uh, into uh, improving the, the performance of, um, of CPython. And, um, and uh, you can, uh, or 
we will all uh, be able to already see uh, some very nice results in um, 3.11. Um, but um, you can't um, uh, you can't do that without changing the internals, and um, that's where um, there is um, kind of a uh, point of friction uh, because um, the um, the extensions um, rely on the CAPI, which is directly related to the heart of uh, the interpreter. Um, and um, we um, now see uh, that uh, there are um, actually a lot of uh, issues with the uh, existing CAPI. So, um, well, I guess the first um, issue is that it was never really designed. It just um, happened. Um, I um, am not completely familiar with the early history of Python, but as far as, as I understand, the first extensions were just people who saw this nice uh, interpreter for this nice new language and just hacked at it to um, implement the um, uh, the early extensions, the uh, ancestors of, uh, of NumPy. Um, and um, the API grew um, out of that, just formalized um, this um, exposure of the internals of uh, CPython. And, um, the, um, and so you have internal details which are directly part of, uh, of the API and of the ABI. So the um, internal structure of um, objects, uh, the uh, struct which is called pi object, uh, you have to, uh, you can manipulate it directly from your uh, C extension. Um, and um, well, because uh, we have so many uh, extensions that rely on the C API, it's pretty much impossible to change the behavior of anything. Um, and um, there are more um, specific um, concerns when you think about what's um, uh, required to um, enable um, a fast uh, interpreter. Uh, so the um, existing APIs um, wholly based around uh, pointers, so you manipulate um, pointers to a pi object struct everywhere. Uh, but because you have a C pointer, it means you can dereference de it and uh, access the internal members if you want to. Um, and, um, and because people do actually do that, even though uh, there, are, uh, there are APIs that uh, insulate the uh, consumer of the API from uh, the internals, people do actually um, depend uh, uh, on the uh, internals. Um, and, um, and uh, also um, something which um, is um, rather painful for extension writers is that the um, ABI uh, changes with uh, each um, Python version. So if you want to support more than one Python version, which usually you want to, um, you have to, uh, to recompile um, uh, for uh, every single version. So if you want to support starting from 3.6, well, you have to build for 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, and now 3.11. Um, so that's, uh, that's a lot. Um, 
and um, um, another uh, big technical issue uh, is that um, uh, CPy uh, the API exposes the fact that CPython relies on uh, reference counting. And um, so um, there are two um, basic um, strategies to manage uh, memory in, um, in a dynamic language. Um, you can have uh, reference counting, like in uh, CPython, where every object every object keeps track of how many other objects refer to it. Uh, or you can have um, a tracing garbage collector, which uh, where um, uh, you uh, periodically inspect the object graph. So you just uh, check which object refers to which, and you know that you can get rid of objects that um, uh, are not reachable. Uh, and uh, it's um, fairly well established that um, for um, a dynamic language, uh, a tracing garbage collector is, uh, usually enables uh, better performance. So that's why uh, the um, uh, full, complete re-implementations of Python um, use uh, tracing garbage collector. Uh, but um, there are um, significant differences between the, the two models. Um, uh, if you have uh, reference counting and pointers, the objects uh, never move, and you know you can dereference your pointer. But uh, in a tracing, uh, with a tracing GC, you will usually uh, want to uh, move your objects around uh, and um, let the um, uh, garbage collector, the memory manager, figure out where to uh, find the objects. So, um, um, so it's um, especially uh, when you want to interact with this system from C, you need um, you need a different model. You can't have a pointer because the objects might not be there anymore. So, um, that's where um, HPy comes in. Um, so, um, as I said, the project uh, started uh, in uh, 2019, um, mainly, uh, mainly driven by uh, developers of, uh, of PyPy and uh, Graal Python, um, but uh, obviously, um, with um, uh, input from um, other uh, people uh, invested in the, uh, um, the um, foundations of uh, the, uh, the Python uh, ecosystem. Um, and um, so the, um, the goals are to, uh, well, to fix the flaws um, in the C API. So um, abstracting away the, all these uh, implementation details, um, um, including um, uh, ha being more explicit, because in um, the existing C API, there is a lot of um, implicit global state, so in HPy, uh, that uh, should be uh, explicit. We, but in order to get people to uh, use HPy, we also want it to be easy to, um, or as easy as possible to switch from the uh, existing C API. And um, the, um, and uh, another important goal is that it shouldn't uh, be worse than the uh, status quo. So uh, performance should be roughly the same as directly using the, um, uh, the existing API. Um, and uh, finally, uh, while we're at it, we'd also like to solve the problem of having to um, recompile uh, your extensions all the time. Um, <clears throat> so, um, uh, we have um, actually uh, two implementations on uh, CPython. One where 
basically, uh, HPI acts as a wrapper um, around uh, the um, CAPI. Uh, and another that is, uh, that really enables this, um, uh, what we call universal mode, um, where you compile only once. Um, and, uh, well, the reason we need the two is that uh, this uh, universal mode uh, does introduce a bit of overhead. Um, so, uh, let me show you what um, HPI looks like. Um, so that's a very simple example that um, uh, just implement an absolute value uh, function. The thing to notice uh, is that uh, the arguments uh, have type HPI and the return value, value as well. And the um, function takes this HPI context argument. So, um, and um, if you want full module, the, the rest of the boilerplate is similar to um, C Python. So the handles. Um, each uh, handle um, is um, um, it represents um, the fact that you have um, access to an object. Um, and uh, each handle has a unique owner. So you, uh, if you get uh, an, a handle from someone else, you shouldn't use it directly, but uh, you should make a copy of it. And then you have an, ind an independent handle that you can uh, manipulate uh, as you see fit. So um, the uh, act of um, um, copying a handle is equivalent to um, incre incrementing the ref count. And uh, when you uh, destroy the handle, uh, you um, close it, uh, it's equivalent to um, doing a deck ref. But because the handles have a unique owner, uh, it's, uh, it makes it easier uh, to reason uh, about the um, um, well, the ownership of the uh, of the objects, um, and um, uh, going more in details, uh, we have actually um, several uh, kinds of handles because we want to support uh, tracing garbage collectors. So this HPI type is. Um, for uh, local variables, uh, but um, we need uh, a different type to represent um, um, edges in the uh, object graph. Um, so when one object uh, owns another, uh, that's where we use um, HPI field. And uh, uh, we have HPI global um, mostly for uh, helping the, uh, the transition. Uh, from the um, uh, CPython uh, API um, to um, deal with implicit uh, global variables. Um, context object now, um, it's, um, so it kind of represents the state of the uh, interpreter, but uh, it also um, contains all the um, functions from uh, the uh, HPI API. So that's how we can have a stable ABI because what actually gets compiled into, into your extension is an offset in this context. Um, it's basically a virtual table uh, for um, functions like you could have in, uh, in C++. Um, and um, this context um, uh, is uh, provided by uh, each implementation, so it will be implemented completely differently uh, on PyPy and on CPython. Um, but uh, for the extension, uh, it won't uh, make a difference. Uh, and um, 
Um, and, um, of course, to maintain uh, binary compatibility, um, it, uh, we can only add new functions at the end, and um, therefore you know that if you compile against um, some old version, it will keep working, hopefully forever. Um, and uh, this um, um, uh, model of the context also uh, enables us to have this debug mode, which can be activated um, at runtime, or well, at import time, um, but w uh, importantly, without recompilation, because we just supply a different context with a different uh, implementation of the um, um, of all the uh, the API. So um, you can just uh, switch between the uh, fast production version and the debugging version with um, uh, just uh, one um, um, command line flag or um, uh, or uh, option in um, uh, in your code. So uh, to port uh, existing uh, extensions, um, well, I guess um, if you want to learn by example, we have um, a lot of. Um, uh, experimental uh, ports of existing um, libraries uh, under the um, uh, um, under our uh, GitHub organization, um, and um, basically the uh, um, the process uh, we've tried to, to make it as uh, incremental uh, as possible. So. Um, <clears throat> Well, there's uh, a first step, which is to um, modernize your uh, C extension to use the uh, modern paradigms where you have, uh, you have heap types uh, instead of static types, where you use, um, so where you use type specs and module specs. Um, <clears throat> and after that, you can uh, port uh, incrementally. So you can mix and match um, methods uh, on uh, even on the same type implemented with the old API or uh, with uh, HPy. So uh, finally, um, uh, about the uh, the future. Um, so I guess uh, what's a uh, big thing that's uh, still missing is um, a good um, a good story. Uh, for packaging, uh, because um, well, with these uh, universal extensions, um, you'd want them to uh, be wheels that you can just publish on PyPI, but that's uh, not uh, not possible yet. Um, and um, and um, I mean, HPy is still in uh, alpha. Uh, version, so um, yeah, don't use it for anything uh, important yet. Uh, it uh, will become usable for real uh, soon, I hope. Uh, but um, I mean, when I say soon, think uh, 2023. Um, and um, yeah, I invite you to uh, to follow um, uh, HPy, there will be a lot of changes uh, next week because um, the, uh, there is an HPy sprint. Um, uh, I won't be there, but uh, I'm sure they will uh, do a lot of work. Um, and um, that's it. Um, just uh, check, uh, check our website, check uh, our docs. Thank you for listening. <laughs>